What's going on guys? My name is Tigus. So it's no surprise that there's a lot of buzz and hype going around about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Um, I've been playing the open beta through this weekend and I figured I would give my opinion on, on the game. Now I do want to preface this by saying that I've not played Call of Duty since what? Call of Duty 4? The first Modern Warfare? Back then um, I mainly only played the campaign mode and I never really dabbled into multiplayer. Um, so yeah i just wanted to talk about the perspective of somebody jumping into it as a first time player i guess you could say for call of duty uh especially in the multiplayer game mode of, of call of duty so is it worth the AAA price tag of 70 dollars? well i mean hopefully that you are able to play the open beta um this weekend um as of today i mean september 26th it is the last day of the the open beta so like i said hopefully that you're able to try it i think i think it's fantastic that the developers are allowing everyone to play uh the game in open beta on all platforms so i definitely would say try it and hopefully you've jumped into the game and were able to test ride it uh before you actually commit to the high price tag of you know 70 dollars but anyway so so let's talk about the game in terms of graphics and audio um my computer right now, I'm playing on a Ryzen 7 5800X and with a RTX uh, 3070. I have my settings on medium and the game looks fantastic. It looks amazing. You know, the, the, the explosions, the particle effects, textures all look amazing. Animations are smooth and the attention to detail is, is very, very welcome. Um, audio is just as great. I can tell uh, what directions enemies are coming from, especially with the, the footsteps. Uh, explosions are full and terrifying at times. Guns actually ab absolutely sound beefy and impactful, um, especially like shotguns. I love the sound of shotguns. Shotguns are one of my favorite guns in the game. Um, helicopters buzzing overhead are, are super immersive in all the chaos of the battlefield. Overall, I mean, the graphics and... Uh, audio are done very well it just it feels very polished um it feels it feels triple a i guess you could say right um so let's move on to talking about movement um movement in the game feels amazing to me i i honestly think it's amazing it's smooth and precise um i know it's controversial that you know it's 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 a lot slower pace um but it's not in a bad way at least in my opinion it's not in a bad way right it's not as slow as something as like Tarkov where it's like super tactical and, and heavy and uh, inertia and stuff like that. Um, but you know, it feels great. Uh, there's no slide jumping. There's no wall running. There's no crazy superhero movements in the game. Um, you can't slide and ADS at the same time. Again, in my personal opinion, I love the fact that it's slower pace um, and it's not, you know, the whole slide jumping hyper octane gameplay. Um, that is in the previous cut, even though, you know, I've, I haven't played it, but, you know, I think we've all seen videos and YouTube videos of of all that crazy, you know, no scope sliding wall jumping kind of thing, um, your enemies. So, I mean, that honestly, in that to me and that uh, that type of gameplay is just is super, super, super huge turnoff for me. Um, with that being said, though, however, there are still those funky uh, corner jump shots where your enemies will, you know, they'll literally run past a corner and jump and then shoot you uh which kind of makes holding corners a little awkward and a little weird i mean it, it is what it is but you know it's it's not as bad you know it's, it's annoying but it's it's not as bad as you know slide jump wall slide jumping and wall wall hopping and stuff like that so wall running i mean um but yeah uh so the time to kill in the game feels pretty low it's difficult to get to really get a feel for it because right now, I mean, the guns aren't balanced. Um, it is a bait. It is in beta, so eventually, I expect that to change and guns to be balanced once the once the game is is released. Um, the game currently does have crossplay. I know it's controversial with the whole like aim assist versus mouse and keyboard kind of, kind of thing, um, but you know, I, I think it's a great thing. I think it's amazing to have crossplay. Right? It keeps keeps the lobbies full. It helps you get into you know games really really quickly so uh, i think that's i think it's a really good thing so let's talk about some game modes right um in call of duty i mean like modern warfare 2 there's your standard uh 
game modes. You know, like there's your TDM, Domination, Search and Destroy. I spent a majority of this beta playing Hardpoint. Uh, it's where your team holds rotating control zones on the map to accumulate points. Uh, it's one of my favorite game modes to play. Um, I, I just really like that type of game mode. Uh, there's also Ground War, which is where it's, I guess it's Call of Duty's take on Battlefield. Uh, you have tanks uh, and helicopters. You can get on, get in those vehicles to, you know, gun your opponents down. Um, there are capture points that you hold uh, in the zone. So it's, it's, it's pretty much Call of Duty's Battlefield is kind of, it's kind of what it is. Um, there's also Prison Rescue, Prisoner Rescue, and a Knockout. I didn't really spend too much time playing those modes, so I can't really say much about it. And then also there's the, not new, but there's a third person mode. I've heard that they've had per third person mode in the previous editions of the games, but you know, I personally don't like playing third person shooters, but you know, if it's your cup of tea, then you know, go and uh, have at it. So, so with all that being said, um, there are still issues with the game. Weapon balancing is, is definitely one of those things. But like I said, you know, it's, it's expected because it's, it is a beta and we'll get eventually eventually we'll get addressed um also like even though movement is a lot slower place slower paced um it is still an arcade shooter it's still a lot faster pacing you know most tactical fps style of games um you know if you're hoping this to be like similar to uh tarkov or something like that you know it's definitely not that um it's still it's still call of duty it's still you know pretty fast paced um the matchmaking currently is is absolutely horrendous there's games where i've joined where we are absolutely stomping our opponents and then or vice versa where my team is you know getting stomped on by the enemy team you know again this is all in beta and i'm sure eventually it will it will get addressed um but honestly though as someone who's never really played cod especially multiplayer cod i i honestly honestly i've been having a blast um playing this open beta like the overall package of the game, you know, is the animation, the sounds, graphics, movement, they all feel amazing. Um, I honestly haven't had this much fun playing a, a, a first person shooter multiplayer for, you know, quite some time. You know, however, I, I did realize that when I was playing this, you know, I did realize the whole honeymoon phase of the game where, you know, it's first time jumping into a game that's, you know, really brand new and you kind of like, you like everything about the game you know so i, I did realize that i was in the honeymoon phase that um eventually it started to wear off right so i played the game enough to the point where i mean it's only like a couple of days and i already started to feel it right so i can definitely see the argument of the game being repetitive and boring right it's just like any other like multiplayer shooters of your your standard style of gameplay right it, it's gonna have that gameplay gameplay loop um, you know, once you get all your weapons and attachments unlocked, there's, you know, what else is there to do kind of thing, right? You're, you're just going to be stuck in that gameplay loop again. And then I could see that people are going to, you know, say that, well, that's going to get boring again, right? So I can, I can see that, you know, Warzone and, and the very much hyped DMZ mode are not available yet. And they're definitely, definitely going to check those out, especially the DMZ mode. That's, that's the game mode that really has me interested because uh if it's hyped up and to be similar to tarkov not exactly the same but you know uh, that's something that i like you know like that that hardcore tarkov looter shooter type of uh game is what i enjoy so i'm definitely going to be looking forward to that so we're just gonna have to wait and see so i mean overall is is modern warfare 2 next gen is it innovative you know does it have ground baking groundbreaking mechanics no it's honestly it's it's the tried and true formula of call of duty it's what made call of duty call of duty uh to be honest and it's it's done very well and it's very 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 polished so basically that's my take on the game um i know i've only barely scratched the surface of the game uh, in the beta there's like restrictions on on weapons and what you can truly unlock in the game and your level cap and things like that so but overall, I've, I've enjoyed the game. I truly, truly have enjoyed the game. And it's some, definitely something that I'm going to keep on my radar uh, as it progresses. And, you know, obviously there's going to be a lot of things that changes. But yeah, that's it. So if you guys 
if you enjoyed the video make sure you guys like the video leave a comment and subscribe i will see you guys in the next one peace